Hey Seahawks, it's Kaya and Karis, and these are your video announcements. Congrats to boys varsity football for their year. They made it to the second round of CIF where they put up a tough fight against Bell Gardens, but unfortunately they were knocked out. It was a great season, Seahawks. Hey, Seahawks. Just a reminder that the Jim Harris Memorial Tournament is happening in the gym all the way through Saturday. So come support today and tomorrow and support your boys basketball team. Great job for girls basketball for getting their first win of the season. Let's go Seahawks! Seahawks! The week of December 11th through the 15th, we're going to be having our Mario Kart tournament. After break, we'll be having a sign-up table outside of Melton's. So make sure you sign up and the link will be in your emails. Hey, hey Seahawks. Seahawks! It's Charlotte and Ryan and we're here to let you know that in honor of Native American Heritage Month we'd like to spotlight Suzanne Schoenharo, a member of the Southern Cheyenne Nation. She's received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her work as an activist, poet, and journalist. Haro was also the president of the Congress of the American Indians. She was also a founding trustee of the American Indian Museum. What are you thankful for? Thankful it's just a gator pet? I'm allergic to crocodiles. Heads, I throw you in the gator pit. Tails, I tell you this week's College Wednesday winner. <laughs> it's me time! All right. This week's College Wednesday winner is Dana Jedlick. Are you happy? No, my name's James. ¿Qué pasó? Es un niño con la palabra de semana. Esta semana, la palabra es Riz. It's your boy Melton. Check it out. Coming back. Second round of Word of the Week. This week's word is Riz. Okay, I think that it means, uh, like, game. And you'd say like he's 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 got Riz. Um, Riz is probably like what's happening, like what's the Riz, yo? Um, I feel like that's how you'd use it. Riz is charisma, which Melton does not have. Riz. <laughs> So Riz, Riz is the word, eh? Um, Riz, something I, I, I know a lot about. Um, it comes from the word charisma. And uh, charisma is something I have a lot of. Um, use it in a sentence. I got more Riz than I know what to do with. All right, Riz means charisma. And my sentence is, Mr. Chop has no game and no riz. To me, riz is like when you're at a party or something and you want to like rev things up. Like, hey, let's rez up this party. All right, so we're back. You just heard some of your teachers, some of your staff members give their definition of riz. If they weren't correct or if you didn't know, your riz is your style. Your, your your aura, your swag, everything. Like in a sentence, Mr. Bolo has no riz. Tune in next week for another edition of Melton's Word of the Week. Have a rizzy day. talk to you guys about amazing things that are going to be happening when we come back from break. Before we start though, I just want to say how grateful I am for all of you. Do you know that we have had the most engagement of all time for all the people here on our campus? For those of you guys that have been dressing up, those of you guys that have been hitting our spirit days, I am so grateful for each and every one of you. 
Thank you for attending our events. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for getting to your classes on time and making sure you're taking care of business in the classrooms. You guys have been so awesome and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Second, when we come back from great guys, we have Winterfest. Winterfest is going to be spectacular. It's going to be so great. It's going to be out here in the Warner parking lot. That's right, out here right behind me. Boop, 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 out there by the street. We are probably even gonna have an adoption event. That's right, we're gonna have a bunch of puppies and kittens all coming, and that's hopeful, fingers crossed. We have about 22 vendors so far. We're looking for more vendors, so if you have something that you wanna sell, if you have yourself a little shop and you wanna sell some things, talk to us and let us know. If your parents sell things, talk to us, let us know. We are looking for more vendors and we need each of you to come. So at Winterfest, this is what you guys need to know. We will be giving any Ocean View attendee five points if you come up to the ASB table. Five points for you and five points for every person that you bring. That's right. You bring a little kid with you, you get an extra five points. You bring your grandma with you, you get an extra five points. You bring your whole soccer team with you, extra five points. So I want to see you all at Winterfest. I love everybody's on their way home today. And I will see you guys at lunch today for Super Spirit Friday. That's right. If you have on yellow or you have on OV gear, come on out to the music garage that's right here behind me, right there. The music garage and you guys can get a popsicle today at lunch. But this is what you need to know. Limited edition. First come, first serve. After we're out, we're out. So wear that yellow, get excited, and we'll see you on the patio. Have a great Thanksgiving, Seahawks, and I love you. Dr. Rasmussen here in our beautiful theater. Aren't we lucky to have such a beautiful theater space? You know, I'm so thankful for that. But you know what I'm also thankful for? I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And in the spirit of Thanksgiving, which is coming up uh, this next week, I want you to take a moment to pause and reflect and think about what you're thankful for. You know, it's one of my favorite holidays, even though we get to indulge and food and hang out with our family and friends and have a week off from school. It's also to remember it's important to remember who we're thankful for in our lives. So take a moment, think about who matters the most to you, and Seahawks, I want to thank you for just being you. That's all for me, Seahawks. Take care. Bye. Thanks for watching, Seahawks, and we'll see you next week.